Hi, this is Sachlin Singh, Technical Evangelist at Autodesk, and in this quick tip video, we're going to look at how to import an STL file into Fusion 360, and also how to export an STL from Fusion. We've got a lot of questions on the forums about this, and our users frequently ask about it, so here you go. There's a few different ways to import an STL uh, or a mesh file into Fusion. Uh, one of the simplest ways to do it is uh, if you don't have your timeline turned on, so if you're not capturing design history, which by default is turned on, so you can come in here, right click here on the top um, where your base model is and click do not capture design history. The other place that you could do it is right here at the settings if you just came in here and clicked on the settings icon and said do not capture design history. That would turn it off as well. So once you're within this mode, which is direct modeling, you could simply go into the insert menu and say insert mesh. Pick the mesh that you want to insert. This would be your SDL file. Uh, bring it in as a mesh and specify a unit type and say OK. In this case, I'm bringing in the default mesh mixer bunny. Um, so once I've brought it in, uh, I can simply go ahead and specify that a certain view is the front, specify that a, another certain view is a home view, and that changes the orientation of the bunny so that every time I hit front or top or home, it goes to the right orientation. All right, that's method number one. The second way to bring in an STL file into Fusion is to, again, sort of go into a direct modeling environment, but this is slight uh, trickery to be able to do that. So the other way to go into a direct modeling environment for a brief amount of time is to go into the base feature environment. So if you do want to have a model with history, but you also want to insert a mesh, you would just basically cr click the base feature and then say insert mesh. That brings the insert mesh option back up and then pick uh, the bunny that you want to insert or the SDL mesh um, that you're looking to insert as well. Uh, and once you're done inserting the mesh, you could simply go ahead and hit finish base feature. And from there, anything you do after that would be recorded on the timeline as well. Um, but you need to go into a direct modeling environment to uh, bring that insert mesh option up. Um, <clears throat> if you are in a timeline environment, which is capturing design history, uh, if you go to the insert menu, you don't see the mesh option, which is why I'm saying that you need to go into a direct modeling type environment um, to have that option available. Method number three to bring an SDL file into Fusion. Again, the other way to um, go into a sort of direct modeling environment where every move isn't um, registered or captured as part of history is to go into the sculpt environment. Once you're there, again, that mesh option appears, so you could go ahead and insert the mesh, the SDL mesh, just as you did in the previous two versions. So simple enough. Again, to recap, the three ways would be to turn off the timeline, turn off capturing design history. The second way is to have it inserted as a base feature. And the third way is to have it inserted in the sculpt environment. All right, fantastic. Now, how do we export an SDL from Fusion? So let's go back into my trusted tripod. If you've seen some of my previous videos, um, the tripod has made an entry before. And I've um, created, I've designed a custom GoPro mount for this tripod. And I want to save the GoPro mount as an STL to probably be able to send it to my 3D printer later. So a few different ways in which you can do that. You can simply right click on the component that you want to print or save as STL and then within your right click menu you have a save as STL um, option. Once you're in here you can look at a preview mesh if you like, um, you can choose refinement options uh, or completely customize refinement options as well. You can choose to send to a 3D print utility. In this case, it'll be Print Studio. If you don't, it basically gives you an option to save as an STL. You can name the file and go ahead and save it. I'm gonna cancel out of here for now. Um, <clears throat> let's look at what the Print Studio option looks like. So send to a 3D print utility, and that basically launches Autodesk Print Studio and shows you what the part would look like on a print bed. And in this case, I've selected a MakerBot replicator, but you, if you have a different 3D printer, uh, you could either add it or it might be listed on here as well. And that's the print utility. Um, if you wanted to 3D print your entire design, you could simply right click at the top level here and save as STL. 
Again, this is a much more complicated assembly, so that's not what I'm going to do, but that brings you into the same save as STL environment as simply right-clicking on the component might do as well. Uh, you can also right-click on the component here in your feature tree and save as STL list there, uh, right there, which does the same thing. Additionally, you could go to the Make menu and say 3D Print, which essentially brings up the 3D print icon um, or menu in that as soon as you make a selection that looks very similar to your save as SDL options, so refinement options, uh, preview meshes and open and print studio, etc. Or simply save as an STL and you can go ahead and make that save. And that was different ways of importing and exporting, importing STLs into Fusion 360 and exporting STLs from Fusion. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.